Hi guys, I am getting ready to go out. I thought I would film my everyday makeup routine as of late. I would say the makeup look that I've been drawn to lately is kind of more flawless on the skin and then just very, very simple eye makeup. I'm just going to get ready and walk you through the steps that I take. So I have already moisturized. I'm just going to go in with a primer. This is called the Time Secret Mineral Base Extra Smooth. So I'm just going to focus that right around my nose middle of my face where I have some larger pores and just really massage it in. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer just right on my nose and cheek areas where I have those visible pores that really don't want it to show up when I have makeup on. So what I've been using lately is mixing the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation. And I have this in the shade 52 Vanilla. It's a little bit um, dark for me, just a little bit. And then I'm going to mix it with the BB Cream SPF 30 by Bobbi Brown. And I have this in the shade Extra Light. This is a good product, but if you have dry skin, I would recommend mixing it with something else because it is quite a um, moussey texture and it's quite dry on the skin. But with these two together, it gives this a very good finish and this is one of my favorite foundations of all time drugstore or not it's just so good so I'm just gonna take one pump of that on the back of my hand squeeze just about as much on the back of my hand so just to make sure this won't go on to my face too dry I'm going to add just a little bit of a facial oil just so it glides onto my dry skin a little bit better and I'm just using a sample I got from I think my Ipsy bag this is the Mitchell and Peach Floral number no. one Phi Radiance face oil. I've been doing this a lot and I find it really helps with um, like how the foundation looks on your face. Using the back of my hand as a palette, I'm just mixing all of it and then just with my finger and then I'm gonna just dab it onto my face. And to blend, this is new to me. I am using the Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge, Complexion Sponge. I love this, guys. Like, I have a beauty blender, but I think this is way better actually. I'll talk about that later in a favorites video. So I'm just going to tap that out. So I love this mixture because it gives a pretty good coverage. Probably I would say like a light medium, but still it looks really natural on the skin. It doesn't look too radiant. It's not matte either. Okay, so I blended in the foundation. It just evened out my skin tone, covered a bit of redness wherever. But I definitely do need to go in with the concealer, just under my eyes and on some spots as well. So today I'm just going to use my Maybelline Master Conceal. And I have this in the shade Light. Sorry, the sun just went away and it's coming back. I'm going to warm that up with my fingers and just put it directly under my eyes. Concealer has really good coverage, so if you're looking for a concealer with really good coverage from the drugstore, I would recommend this one. I have purchased a, so much stuff in the past few days because of all the websites are having sales. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Erase Dark Circle to cover my blemishes. Just because I find this concealer to be really yellow toned, and it just works really well to counteract any kind of um, blemishes or redness. And I'm just going to cover everything that I want to cover. And I'm going to add a little bit of the Lumi Magic or Magic Lumi by L'Oreal just under the eyes just to brighten it up a little bit more. Because I should have gotten fair in that Master Conceal um, concealer, I think. So anyway, I've been getting a lot of um, new makeup lately. I just made like three big orders so there is going to be an epic haul coming up but i'm debating if i should like separate it into two videos because i feel like it's going to be really kind of crazy i love how this sponge blends out your concealer or just your makeup in general i think honestly i think it's so much better than a beauty blender but that's just my personal opinion oh my gosh i'm sorry the lighting keeps changing so I'm just going over my face one more time with like a side of the sponge I wasn't using. Pick up any excess product that I didn't pick up the first time just so I don't look cakey. Okay, so that's the base. I'm actually going to go in with a cream contour today and I'm using the M by Michelle Phan. Remember this brand? This is the contour and highlight stick. And I'm just using the contour side to bring out my cheekbones. 
And then I'm gonna put a little bit here on my nose too. To blend that out, I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So you could do this before you put on your foundation. I just kind of forgot. I mean, really either works. I think it just looks more subtle if you put it before your foundation because the foundation covers any harsh lines and, or like basically all of the pigment. So it looks more subtle, like way subtle. For the nose though, I'm going to use the synthetic brush from BH Cosmetics. I brought it up um, to where my brow bone is so that it connects and creates more of a shadow. It creates more depth around your eyes, especially for Asian features. This is what I've learned to be the best way. So I just roughly blended that out. i just go back in with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender or Complexion Sponge and then tap it out a little bit more. And I bring it down just a little bit because um, as you can see it's very very highlighting so I just want to highlight this this um, little area here under my eyes so then I'm gonna go in with some bronzer I am using a brush from BH Cosmetics again this is from the same line as the brush that I just used to set under my eyes I really like this brush for bronzer I don't know if you can see it's kind of like a flat brush from the side and it kind of fans out but it's like really fluffy so it's perfect to just get in there to like bronze up your whole face it's not too precise Too faced a little black book of bronzers just using a blend of milk chocolate and um, chocolate soleil and then just gonna pop that in onto my face my forehead I use exposed. I haven't used exposed in a while. So this is from Tarte Amazonian clay in the famous shade exposed. I'm just gonna pop that onto my cheeks kind of bring it back to Bring it up and back for skin. We're done for now I'm gonna do my brows going in with the wax first to really um, set the direction of the hairs it um, grabs onto the powder better also, guys, I'm going to Turks and Caicos in December. How exciting is that? In like beginning of December. So that's gonna be a fun trip. I know it just it seems like I just got back from vacation, which well I kind of did, but um that wasn't like it was more of like a family thing than vacation vacation. This is gonna be like legit like sun beach vacation you know and then of course with my trusty um flawless brow trio this is in the shade light from bh cosmetics maybelline brow drama this is in the shade soft brown oh shit i got my hair i kind of like this more than i like the l'oreal one to be honest but um the applicator though like i like the formula more because it's more of a gel than like a the L'Oreal one is more of um, like a fiber one. My eye makeup has been so, so, so easy. Like literally so easy. I'm going to mainly use my Meet Matte Nude Palette. This is a great nude, or sorry, great matte palette. It's so good. It's from the bomb. And it looks like this. It has nine shades and a huge mirror too. So that's great. And I got this on sale, so it makes me love it even more. So I'm just going to take a mixture of this yellowish color and the white color. Just mix it to create like a lid color and just put that all over my lid. This will kind of set my um, whatever foundation or concealer I had in. And serve as a base, you know how it is. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of this brown and mixing it with the yellow again. And then just popping that right in the crease. And then really blend that out. Taking a fluffy brush and going in with the neutral colors and just blending out that edge a little bit more just so it's not harsh. So then I take another brush and just going in with the white, mostly the white, and a little bit of the yellow. 
and just putting that on the lid just so it's brighter really focusing it on the center of the lid so now we just have this like very very soft crease definition color that's it really that's the I will just line my upper lash line just a tiny bit and I'm using the stay all day waterproof liquid liner by Stila and this is in the color brown dark brown I did the tiniest flick and then curl my lashes I'm going to use the full lash blue mascara to start off I did a full review on this my thoughts of it are still the same one more afterthought though it's like kind of hard to take off I like wear waterproof mascara all the time and this is hard to take off even for waterproof mascara I'm gonna go in with the push-up drama falsies by Maybelline I also did a review on this and I like this one much better as that's drying I'm gonna use a yellow powder this is from the Marc Jacobs contour palette and just popping that right underneath the bronzer and contour I just like to have a clean line there okay so now I'm gonna line my upper lash line which is so important with the NARS larger than life and then for my lashes I'm gonna go in with this Japanese mascara that I hauled in my Asia haul um, so this mascara is really interesting it's really lengthening but the thing is, it doesn't give me good curl hold, but it's really waterproof because when I wore it that day, I started crying and um, I thought I was going to be like panda eyes, but like none of it came off. It like stuck onto my eyes like no other. It was really weird. One more. I know. It's crazy. I've used like four mascaras at this point. But this is like my favorite um, second coat mascara. Or for a while it was. This is the Sumptuous Bull Volume Lifting Mascara by Estee Lauder. But this one in the sample size is better than a full size. I have the full size here. And I like this one better. Isn't that weird? I think it works better. I know I did like a million coats um, with like four different mascaras. But each coat, I keep it pretty light. So it doesn't look too crazy. Or it does. But I mean, I like it looking crazy. Just pop some bottom lash mascara because I really like bottom lashes and this is the Clinique bottom lash mascara in black for lips I would go with like a bold lip but I'm going to lunch so I don't really want to do that and I don't want to do a matte lip either so I think I'll just do a gloss I will use one of my favorites as you can see it's like almost gone this is the marvelous moxie by bare minerals and this is in the shade rebel it's a, such a pretty pink shade and it has a tingly sensation. I really like this gloss. Okay, so that completes my go-to daytime makeup look that I've been doing recently. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel. Oh my gosh, I forgot to add highlight, guys. So for highlight, since it's daytime and I don't want to be crazy looking, I'm going to just use my ambient lighting powder palette using the middle shade which is incandescent light on a fan brush. I'm going to just fan it onto my face. This is my go-to when it's like daytime and it's very subtle. It's definitely really simple but I love just like the subtle shadow on the eyelid and then big lashes or as big as I can achieve them. Pretty good skin and just like... I don't know, fresh looking, you know? But yeah, thanks so much for watching, and that's it for today. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Pink right now, I look like pink and yellow. But to be honest, it looks pretty good up close. It did cover a lot, I think. Um, but this is it. And they advertise it as full of collagen, which is really cute. And then the noodles, I don't know if you can see, it's super.